First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Hebrew, it's called Hello Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rahach Kodash. Double honors and to the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word and truth and sincerity and peace, blessings and healings onto the elect and multitude because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today I want to talk about this, you know what I'm saying, and stuff that's um, leading up to this. It says, um, pure stupidity, man who had his bank card chipped, implanted in his hand so that he doesn't have to carry a wallet, leaves this morning's viewers unimpressed. <laughs> you know, unimpressed. You know, this is the MOTB. It's eventually going to be made mandatory to everybody on the earth, just like the jab was. You know what I'm saying? That was a whole tutorial to what's going to come eventually down the pipeline. You know what I'm saying? So let's read a little bit of this and then I'll get some other things. It says, um, viewers have branded a man idiotic for having the chip from his bank card surgically implanted in his hand so that he doesn't have to carry a wallet. And, you know, I got something right here the IMF chief, you know, said about uh, CBDC. So let's go down. You know, he said it in in this video right here, Central Bank Digital Currencies for Financial Inclusion, Risk and Rewards. Risk and Rewards. It says, uh, with CBDCs, you know, uh, Central Digital Bank Currencies. Okay. We can precisely control what people can and can't own. Also, what kind of use this money can be programmed for, like, food only. For, like, food only. Because in Revelations 13 and 16... You know, it says um, you can't buy and sell, you know, if you don't have this MOTB and food is included in that because you got to buy it. It says um, he went on to say CBDCs can't solve every financial inclusion challenge, but they can work together with financial literacy and digital literacy. So with CBD, CBDC will work with other policies like digital identities and digital wallets. So this dude, like they saying, he doesn't have to carry his wallet no more because he has a digital wallet. You know what I'm saying? This goes hand in glove with what the World Bank Group described in 2021. Digital identity verification is essential to the operation of CBDCs, particularly in cross-border transactions. So not only is the um, you know IMF chief pushing this, you know, but all these people, the whole world is going to push this on the people. It's going to be made mandatory all over the world okay but going back to read it says um this morning today covered the story of a father being the first ever brit to get implanted with his bank card details allowing him to pay with just his hand rz skulls 40 paid 350 to have the new technology inserted into his hand in germany holy wallable explained with the nhs healthcare assistant from west london had a safety pin size chip placed into his hand by surgeons. Phil Schofield remained quiet on the subject whilst this morning's regular gals branded called the new technology marvelous. Marvelous, you know what I'm saying? Because they're all part of this WEF pushing this digital technocracy on all the world and their final step is to implant everybody. Point blank period. You know, it says it in the scriptures, why not believe Yahweh Basham above the people of the world? You know, we know that they want to do this, point blank period. However, viewers were unconvinced and speedily took to Twitter to express their horror on the new technology. And, you know, the elect ain't impressed, uh, the multitude ain't impressed, and them are the only people that's not going to bow down. You know what I'm saying? Because when they um, introduced the Mike Tyson jab... You know, to everybody, a lot of people folded, man, because they was losing their jobs. But this is why they're doing this. Okay. Dutch government to see 600 farms at gunpoint claiming nitrogen is a pollutant. They're going to go after the food. You know what I'm saying? And go after the energy. I got another thing. Europe energy crisis was created by political intervention. And it is, man. All the, They're going to take all your necessities away to funnel you into, the, um, into this B system to make you take the chip. You know, because... Let's say you go a week without food, you're going to take it. You go two weeks without food, you're going to take it. Without water, you're going to take it. But only the elect and the multitude ain't going to take it. They're going to endure all things to not take it, no matter what. They're not going to bow to the image of Baal, okay? Bow to the image. Let's go to this. Because there's people on the earth that ain't going to bow to this, man. Point blank period. Romans 11 and 14. 
But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. And this seven thousand can be up to millions. You know what I'm saying? That's what the uh, seven means in the scripture. It could be one all the way, all the way up to five million. You know? So. And um, I got this later in the video. I'm coming back to put this here, though. You know, Syria and Russia signed an agreement to rebuild ancient pagan temple ark. You know, you can look this up yourself. Okay, the Russian and Syrian governments have just announced they are moving on the next stage in reconstruction, the ancient temple of the pagan god Baal in Palmyra. So you can look this up, man. They're resurrecting these temples that got turned out here. You know, it's a whole one world agenda, man. Okay, and y'all people, they're going to make our people bow down. Okay, to Satan, basically. Okay, but moving on. There's a lot of people that's going to be bound down, but there's a certain amount of number of people that ain't going to go along with this system. Even so, that at this present time, also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. That's why I always say at the beginning of my videos, I do these videos for the elect and the multitude, man. Because that's the only people that ain't going to fold to this system that's coming down the pipeline. But like I said, you know, um, they're going to go after the food. Dutch government to see 600 farms. You know, you can go look up this... Um, article i didn't want to read it it's just giving you a glimpse the shutdowns continue in 2022 you know what i'm saying um you know pro map the only aluminum smelter in monk echo was shut down permanently after failing to pay for the rising cost of electricity the electricity provider could not provide an economical price for electricity forcing the aluminum smelter to shut its doors for good so they're gonna go after the food they're gonna go after the water they're gonna go after your jobs Okay, they're going to go out there everything to make you people, funnel you people into this system. Okay, that's why the projects in America, they was, um, there was a, it was a test run. You know, um, welfare was a test run. You know what I'm saying? So, they already been doing the background work, and now they're going to funnel, not just the poor of the poor, because it's only going to be the rich and the poor. They're going to funnel, they're, they're uh, cutting out the middle class and bringing y'all down low. Now they're going to funnel everybody into the system that they have built this new system okay point blank period you can go look at this too but this is uh, scriptural as well you know let me get two scriptures right here this is about America in the last days and that's the days we're in right now this is Isaiah 19 and 15 you know at the top it says a message to Egypt then it talks about America it says and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom it says the same thing it doesn't say Egyptians, you know, but this is spiritual Egypt. It says that in Revelations 11 and 8. Actually, let me just get it, man. You know, you got to gotta prove all things to these people. Okay, Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. You know, you just look at what's going on in America, you know what I'm saying, with these trainers, okay, training, okay, all that stuff, you know, and maps, Okay, minor attractive persons and all that, where also our Lord was crucified. Okay, and you can look at a dollar bill too. Let me get a picture. Okay, I got an Egyptian pyramid with the eye. Okay, so it's talking about America spiritually. It's, it's spiritually Babylon, spiritually Sodom, spiritually Egypt, spiritually Rome. Okay, all that. So we go down to 15, 19 and 15. It says, um, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail brunt branch or rush may do and this is talking about you know america falling man you know what i'm saying so there ain't gonna be any work out here and also you can get a scripture in ecclesiastes 12 um it says remember now the creators in the days of re remember now the creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not now the evil days are coming man okay y'all people should have repented when you had a chance see that that door the doors of mercy is going to close man that's why you want to repent and turn back to the lord man you know now the years draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them. Go down to thirty. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the ground is cease because they are few. The ground is cease because they are few. The shutdowns continue in 2022. The shutdowns. And the ground is cease because they are few. And those that look out the windows will be dark in meaning. Okay. People trying to plan five years, ten years ahead. And all the, it ain't gonna work no more, man. Now you're going, people are living day to day, man. Check the check, man. 
Okay? That's how gruesome this thing has gotten, man. Okay? It just is what it is. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. The shutdowns continue in 2022. Aluminum, copper, iron, steel production being shuttered at an alarming rate. The doors, okay, shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low. When the sound of the grinding is low. Because this place shut down. Couldn't pay, uh... Couldn't pay, you know, electricity. Now that there's a, a, a energy crisis going on. Liberal steel mill at Rotham in UK could not keep up with rising electricity costs and had no choice but to stop production entirely. You know, so this is this is the main, you know, thing that's going on. Energy crisis or, you know, uh, it's a political thing to get this place shut down. You know, they're doing this all over the world. Okay, even to the food, you know, uh couple of weeks ago, a month ago, you know, however long ago, but that farms were being destroyed, you know, and the list went all the way down to like a hundred, you know what I'm saying? So this is all the farms that were destroyed since January 11, 2021. It's all the way down to now, man. You know what I'm saying? So they're going after it, man, because they're going to make our people foe. That's why Bill Gates is buying up all the farmland in America, because they're getting ready, man. They're getting ready to make y'all, fun of y'all people into this system. Okay, but going back, it says, um, many people expressed their shock on ITV were given the story airspace because this is going to be mandatory. That's why they're giving it airspace. All you people that's not in the truth and all you people, you know what I'm saying, that don't don't believe, that don't have a foundation to go back on, when these people scare y'all, okay, with the necessities that y'all have getting used to, that's why they gave it to you in the first place, and they start stripping all this stuff back, you people going forward. That's why they're giving an airspace. They just, you know, y'all gonna take this, man. With one user tweeting, yes, yes, let's all go and have a chip implanted into our organic body. The MOTB. So at least these people know that. It says, people need to wake up. Can I believe this morning are pushing this? I guess most of you think the Bible is a work of fiction. Newsflash, it isn't. Someone else posted, oh God, this chip conversation is going to bring the crazies out on Twitter. Isn't it this morning? You know, and they're going to demonize, you know, the real believers, the people in the truth. They, we're going to be evil spoken of because of our beliefs. You know what I'm saying? That's what they are set up to do, man. Yeah, how about Shemesha said, said that they was going to do it? You know what I'm saying? Just like with the jab thing, man. Okay, and a lot of people, you know, was getting real uh, uh, separated and real uh, scared when that was coming down the pipeline. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't need to read no more of this. Basically, this dude right here. Got a bank card in his hand. He buying and selling with that thing. And it says that in Revelation 13, they're going to make a lot of people bow down to them by taking the necessities of life away. And most people going to fold. Okay, but we ain't going to fold, man. Yeah, how are the Zah, Lord willing. Okay. Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The hour of temptation is when they make this mandatory, which shall come upon all the world, but come upon all the world. To try them that dwell upon the earth. To try them. This is a trial by Yahweh Shemeshah. Are you with him? Are you with them, man? You know, and you might lose everything. You might lose stuff. You might not get stuff. But Yahweh Shemeshah will give you what you need. Because I have come quickly. Hold thou fast to which thou hast. Let no man take that crown. Let no man take that crown. Don't let these niggas, don't let these people scare you into doing this stuff, man. No matter what. Um, Revelations 13. And 14, and deceive of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. So they're going to deceive the whole world into taking this, just like they did with the jab. Okay, they deceived the whole world. That's, the, that's, their, that's their mission. That's what they were set up to do. And you were set up to say, you were set up to not be deceived and set up to believe in Yahweh Hashem and Shai and set up to not fold to these people. You was, you were supposed to believe on believe, man, on business, man. Which you had power to do unto the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell upon the earth, that they should make an image of the beast which had the which had the wound by the sword and did live. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to want you to bow down, man. To bow all, man. And also, I wanted to talk about... I forgot to bring this up. Russia and Syria rebuilding Baal. Let me look at this up. Syria and Russia signed an agreement to rebuild ancient Pengit Temple Ark. Okay? And Russia and Syria governments just announced they are moving... On the next stage of reconstructing the ancient temple of the pagan god Baal in Parma, Para, 
So, <laughs> there's a lot of things going on right now. Okay, they're erecting the uh, pagan god Baal's temple, man. So, y'all people better get a clue. Okay, Revelations 13 and 15 that he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So, there's going to be a lot of people, especially the elect and the multitude. We ain't going along with this B system, this technocracy, this the MOTB system you got going on. Fuck you, okay? But they're going to want to kill us because we're not down with it, okay? Because, you know, we're making these videos, which eventually they're going to take off the internet. We're not going to be doing this forever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, how about Shemesha said he was going to close the mouth of the prophets in the end days, you know, because the uh, doors of mercy are going to close. Okay, and y'all people should have listened when y'all had a chance, okay? Y'all people are last minute uh, doers, you know, uh, you do everything at the last minute. You ain't going to be able to repent at the last minute. How about some of shots going to be like, nah, man, my prophets have been out there since the 70s. They've been on the Internet since 2007. You had your chance, man. You know, you saw the prophets on the street corners in major cities and you walked right past them. You drove right past them. You talk shit about them. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. OK, here goes the prophecy right here. And he calls a fall. He caused a fall, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. Rich and poor, man. Free and bond. You people in the jails, y'all gonna be taking this, man. Um, and y'all ain't gonna have no choice, man. <laughs> they hold you down and do it. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, so we know what the one in their right hand is. And we know the one was on your forehead. Elon Musk is working on Neutralink and other companies are working on, you know, brain chips and all that. Okay. It says, um... And that no man might buy or sell. And you see this dude. He was buying with it. He was buying food with it. Okay. Buying something that people need. Actually need to survive. Which is food. Okay. I mean it's just crazy what's going on right now. Okay. You can see everything being implemented man. Right in your face. But they're going to they're gonna um, demonize this truth. They're going to demonize the people that's telling this truth. They're going to call them terrorists. And all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to have the wherewithal to not uh, fall into that, man. It just is what it is. It's us against the world. And that's how Yahweh Shem and Shah wanted it. Okay? And that no man might buy himself, say, if he had had the mark, the name would have been so the number of his name. So, listen, man. You know, ask your Yahweh Shem and Shah to strengthen your heart, strengthen your mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Ask him to give you the truth. You know what I'm saying? Ask him to help you along. You know, guide you. So what you need to know, man, so you won't, uh, you know, take this because at the end of the day, I'm going to get this scripture. Wisdom and knowledge, okay, is the stability of our times, man. So we see stuff like this. We know why they're doing it. Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, okay? And what did Yahweh Shemesh say? Fear of the Lord. Is the beginning of knowledge, man. You know what I'm saying? You start uh, getting in your right mind. and He'll start giving you the uh, knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So that's all I wanted to get for today, man. Hey, man, don't bow down to these people. You know, call Halal Yahabashim and Shabashim